Hey guys, Frost here, welcome back. Yesterday we made a video about the items that get modified in the pre-patch. Uh, their stats get changed, some of them get boosted DPS, and some of them even go from a white quality item which you can trade, it's not BOE or BOP, to a blue quality item which you can do right now, farm them in specific dungeons, and send them to your alts that you want to level, and so on. You guys kind of enjoyed it, that video, as you left a lot of feedback, a lot of likes, a lot of comments, and you made a lot of requests for a part 2. So here we are, late at night, after <laughs> 8 hours of streams, trying to make this video happen again. By the way, if you want to join my stream at twitch.tv slash frostadamus, uh, make sure to drop a follow. I'm going to be streaming the launch of TBC, I'm going to try to go for the world first 70 mage. And uh, with that being said, let's go into the part 2 of this video. We're going to start where we left yesterday at Scarlet Monastery. So some of the items that get modified in Scarlet Monastery, the first one that I stumbled upon was a Torturing Poker, which goes from uh, 21 damage per second to about 26 damage per second. A uh, small DPS increase, but uh, it's still nice to know. The next one is a white item, Bloody Brass Knuckles, which is a fist weapon with uh, 1.6 speed. Right now it has a... Uh, you can trade it and you can farm it easily. You just have to go inside. Uh, after the pre-patch is going to have... Uh, 22 damage per second, 8 strength, and uh, you can level, it's a level 29 item. Could be used even by Twinks, or you can use it to level skill your fist weapon to uh, higher levels. Blood Mage Mantle, which had 8 intellect and 4 spirit uh, previously, now has an extra 10 critical strike rating, which at level 30, it's 1.69% crit. The Ghost Shard Talisman, um, which drops from a rare in Graveyard, uh, which used to have 9 stamina for spirit, with, which all the warriors and rogues used to roll for it, which I don't understand why, now has uh, 9 stamina and 5 damage and healing. <laughs> Maybe the war warriors won't roll anymore on it. Uh, Blighted Leggings, which had 17 spirit and damage done by shadow spell by 10, now have a whopping 7 stamina and 20 damage and healing. No longer spell power, uh, no, no, no longer shadow power. Now it's spell power, 20 spell power at level 30. Pretty nice. Um, one of the BOEs that get changed here is the Watchman Shoulders, which have 3 Strength, 11 Stamina, and the Spirit got modified to Agility, so it's now 3 Strength, 4 Agility, 11 Stamina. Chester Fall Musket gets a DPS boost to 21.3 uh, damage per second, and I think uh, this is about for uh, Graveyard. Into Library, uh, the stuff that used to drop from uh, Loxley, Used to have 60 attack power when fighting beasts, which was useless. Now we'll have um, 40 attack power normally. No other stats increase, but uh, now it's no longer a useful, useless item. Now you can actually use it and level uh, your stuff as a hunter or even as a warrior, why not? It has a lot of <laughs> damage per second. The dog training gloves, which used to have 30 attack power when fighting beasts, now will have 8 strength and 8 agility for level 29. Pretty good stats. And for some reason, the quality of the dog whistle, which drops there all the time, it's now blue. Not sure if everything ch anything changes to it, but it's just a blue quality item right now. Robe of Dawn, which used to be a useless item, um, now will have an extra 14 uh, damage and healing available to it. Mantle of Dawn, which um, was only 8 intellect and 7 spirit, now has 9 intellect, 7 spirit, and a whopping... 9 hit rating, which at level 33 is 2.34. I think my items from Nexramas have 8 hit rating. So this one has 9 hit rating. At level 33, 9 hit rating for a caster, it's godsend. Plus previously, if you collect more hit rating items from the previous dungeons that we taught, uh, it's gonna make leveling a mage easier than ever. Illusionary Rod uh, got its spirit removed and now has a 10 critical strike rating, which is 1.43 at level 34. And uh, moving on to Cathedral. I don't think anything gets changed into Armory, but in Cathedral, uh, the Mace, the Morgain Smite, Morgain Smite gets changed to... The Spirit gets removed and it receives a lot of hit rating, which is uh, 16 hit rating, a lot, which is 2.68 hit at level 39. And uh, the Aegis of the Scarlet Commander, the shield we all know and like, now instead of uh, Spirit, will have Defense Rating 7, which is 7.8 Defense um, skill at uh, level 39. Uh, moving on from Scarlet Monastery, we gotta go into Razafran Downs, 
where a lot of items get changed, starting first with the Glowing Eye of Mordresh, a necklace which had 11 intellect, 11 spirit, 5 intellect, now will have spell critical strike rating by 11, which is 1.46% at level 36, and an extra 6 damage and healing, finally a useful item when you level, it's gonna help a lot. The Death Mage, uh, Death Sash Mage, which was the level 36 cloth belt with 15 intellect and 6 stamina, now has 10 intellect, 6 stamina, and 12 damage and healing. I think this is going to be the new belt, uh, best in slot belt for level 20, 39 twinks. Uh, the Mordresh Lifeless Skull, the new iteration of the item has uh, 13 damage and healing to spells, which is really nice. Uh, the Cleaver from Gluten um, gets a nice damage boost, 5 damage per second. And um, that's it. Ice Metal Barbute gets um, the spirit transformed into agility, so it used to be the first level 40 plate item that you used to get as a warrior or uh, as a paladin, and now instead of 7 spirit you get a nice uh, 7 agility boost, which I like it. Robes of the Lich, the iconic item with 20 stamina, now uh, gets its stamina reduced but by 7, but now it gets uh, spell critical strike rating by 14, which is 1.8% at level 37. Also, you, you no longer equip it at 39, you equip it at 37. I would assume the level of the mobs in dungeons will get reduced. We'll talk about this later once we get to Uldaman, because I've done some testing on the PTR. Uh, that chill armor has 20 spirit, 9 intellect, 3 stamina. And now uh, we'll have 8. The spirit will get removed, 20 spirit, and will receive 8 mana per 5 seconds. The bone fingers... Um, green gloves with 9 stamina 9 intellect now we'll have an extra 4 mana per 5 seconds so if you want to heal in dungeons as you level if you want to level a healer a shaman or a paladin you'll be able to get way more spell power with uh, mp5 and gear with spell power and it's going to make your life easier as you'll see later on in the higher level dungeons plague root uh, plague root spree spree which is a major wand now uh, will have uh, 8 damage and healing uh, Swine Fists, which are a pair of gloves with 8 strength and 8 agility for level 35. Now we'll have 11 strength, uh, 10 agility. Corpse Shroud, which is a BOE from Razafran Downs, uh, which had 19 intellect, a helmet, and 5 agility. Now we'll have uh, 19 intellect and 6 spell power, so the agility gets converted into spell power. There are better options in Uldaman for uh, the level 39 twink bracket, but we'll talk about that later. Quill Shooter will... Um, get a damage boost from 15.9 damage per second to 25.4 damage per second with a 280 speed, which makes me wonder because it also has a proc uh, which uh, strikes your ranged target with a quill shot for 66 to 99 damage, but the damage got boosted too much. I think this bow is almost better than the bow of searing arrows. I don't remember exactly how much DPS the bow of searing arrows has. This is a BOE and it's probably going to be valuable. 280 speed is pretty good for a hunter. And the damage got boosted by 10 damage per second. At level 33, it feels like it's good or better than, than um, the epic bow. Moving on from Razafran Downs, we're going to go towards uh, Uldaman, which is one of my favorite dungeons. And we start with the first bow, which is a white bow from Balog. Um, I think it's going to be the new best in slot for Twinks, and you can get it right now if you go to kill Balog. It's probably dropping almost all the time, and send it to your alts, um, or to your Twinks if you want to make them in the future, so you won't have to go there and I didn't farm them, or try to sell them to people, which know that after the pre-patch they will get modified. So, uh, the new version of the game has 27.6 damage per second on a 230 speed, which is better than the Bow of Shearing Arrows. I'm going to put that on the screen. It also have a, has a it rating by 7, which uh, at level 36, it's 1.30%. Probably the only hit bow uh, tr till this level, but uh, it's a huge upgrade. It's like double the amount of damage it does. Um, worn running boots, leather boots, 11 agility, 3 stamina, now have 12 agility and 10 stamina. Nice boost for a level 36 uh, boots. The battered viking shield will uh, get a nice rework will have 7 defense rating which at uh, level 35 it's 9 uh, defense uh, plus some extra block and armor. A Revelash uh, 
which is a boss which dropped uh, only green items in uh, Uldaman, will now drop items with random enchantment and 10 stamina. Gloves, uh, boots, and uh, shoulders. Now, not only that I have, I think I killed this guy on the creep uh, on the PTR and uh, the the enchantment, the random enchantments are better than they used to be on the green items as well. So extra stamina and um, extra stats. Uh, Stoneweaver leggings from Ironaya uh, gets uh, the intellect removed from them and receives an extra nine spell power. The iron should bludgeon the staff from Ironaya. Uh, the 20 stamina gets changed uh, reversed with the strength so now it's gonna have 20 strength instead of 20 stamina um rock shard, rock shard shoulders which drop almost all the time from an elemental boss in um uldaman uh, from two strength nine intellect nine spirit now will have nine stamina two intellect and 28 attack power pretty good shoulders for level 40. Uh, if you're playing a shaman i would recommend getting them if your enhancements of course and a hunter as well. Talgan Fire Blaster uh, gets a nice uh, DPS boost as well, like uh, six damage per second or seven. Um, unfortunately, the prec, the proc, it's not that great. I haven't tried it myself. Chance to strike a ranged target with a fire blast for 12 to 18 fire damage. I'm not sure exactly how um, good, but as a gun for level 40, if you're leveling a dwarf for something, <laughs> the damage is pretty good, 31 damage per second. It's gonna work great. Uh, Ember Scale Cape will get some Spirit and Stamina boost. A Galgon's Fire Hammer, um, a Mace, 220. It gets not much. It's like a four damage per second increase in six stamina, but it has an interesting proc. It's uh, not unique. You can probably wear two of them, and uh, it's easy to acquire. I guess for uh, level 40, if you get two of those mazes with blasting the target with 80 and 112 fire damage, you probably put some fire, fiery weapon on them. Could be interesting to level uh, like that. With either a rogue or a warrior, who knows. Uh, this one is nice because I farm a lot of Uldaman lately. Grimlock's Tribal Vestments gets uh, from 10 stamina, 20 spirit, 5 intellect to 10 stamina, 14 spirit, 5 intellect, and an additional 15 damage per second. Pretty nice boost. Uh, this one is really nice as well. Grimlock's Charge, 15 Agility, 10 Strength, 15 Stamina, becomes into 15 Agility, 15 Stamina, and 20 Attack Power now. Finally, a good uh, item for Hunters in the level 40s. Nice Polearm. Um, if I would play a Hunter, I would get it. Oil Skin, Leggings, Green drops almost all the time from the same boss. Gets uh, changed from 13 Agility, 12 Spirit, to 18 Agility, 17 Stamina. Uh, I think doing Uldaman is going to be so much fun as you level. Plus, the, in Uldaman, the mobs no longer have level 45 and 44. That's why I would recommend to start doing until the pre patch until 18 May. Maybe do some couple of with your mage Uldaman runs to try to get the Pendulum of Doom or a Miner's Hat of the Deep or whatever items because I tried the Uldaman in PTR and the items that the mobs drops are not the same that drop from Classic. The items from the mobs in uh, pre patch will be lower level because the mobs have lower level right now if the elites have somewhere between 43 and 45 elites in the pre-patch will be 38 39 and that means the items like pendulum of doom the miners hat of the deep will have a lower chance as well um, i did some tests moving on to the miners hat of the deep um, this is going to be the new best in slot twink item for level 39 17 intellect 10 Spirit and 7 Stamina gets converted into 10 Intellect, 7 Stamina and 20 Spell Power, which is a lot. It also looks nice. Um, people will probably enchant it and use it in uh, a level 38 ring bracket. I would expect this one to be expensive as it's a BOE and it's very rare. You can farm it now. Um, another BOE, Shoulders of the Lost Age, 16 Stamina, 7 Spirit gets uh, 15 Stamina and 4 MP5. Uh, Skull Plate Bracers, this one's a drop for me, a level... 40 pair of bracers after pre-patch will have um, some critical strike rating, not a lot, 5, but still pretty good for that level. Legards of the Vault, another twink item, gets changed to 5 agility, 13 stamina, hit rating by 5, 
which is 1% at level 34, and also 26 attack power. These will be expensive as well. Probably best in slot twink items for a variety of classes, including hunters. Monolith, monolithic Bow from 6 strength to 3 agility gets changed to 3 agility, 12 attack power. Now, the Baylog Bow might be better if you need a hit, uh, but this one uh, is going to be valuable as well. Uh, Shadow Forge Bushmaster, this uh, Bushmaster, this one I got it myself from Uldaman. From um, 7 Shadow Resistance gets changed to uh, 7 Agility, plus gets a nice DPS boost. That's about 6 damage per second. Uh, I have it, I, I listed it on the Auction House for 370 gold, but I think I should keep it. Because uh, apparently it's pretty good. The Jackhammer, which is something that is really interesting. Another BOE, which might be expensive, it does require level 40, not level 39. If this was for level 39, it would, would have been probably better than the Pendulum of Doom. Uh, the proc on it, it says increases, chance on hit increases your attack speed by 30% for 10 seconds, right? And uh, it has 39 damage per second. But after the change, it's going to be haste rating, and then chance on hit, it's going to increase your haste rating by 300. So that's about... 50% haste for 10 seconds, so you're uh, doing every second a swing. It's pretty OP, wish it was for level 39 and had more value, but uh, until then it's just a nice jackhammer with an interesting option and it probably has some value attached to it. Some items might want, some people might want to buy this item. This is it with Uldaman, we're going to move towards our next dungeon, which is Zulfarak. Zulfarak gets a couple of changes as well, and starting with the first boss, Lifeblood Amulet, gets um, some healing done to up to 11, 13 stamina and healing done up to 11. Uh, the swords that you use to combine to make the epic sword now will um, get some uh, DPS boost, like uh, Shang Trace, the deflector, gets um, an extra 3 damage per second. Uh, Bad Mojo Mask uh, gets intellect, intellect reduced by half, but now damage and healing um, are up to 27 and it's no longer only shadow. It's a nice boost. Uh, the armor from Gazrilla, which no one used to use, now has MP5 as well. Uh, the dagger from Gazrilla gets a small boost. It's not big. Like, still a usable item if you want to play dagger rogues at level 42 or whatever. Big bad, big bad shoulders from the last boss. Uh, we'll get their spirit removed, and we'll get an 8 critical strike rating, uh, making it a bit better. This is it for Zulfarak, and we're gonna move towards Mara. Mara, a lot of items get changed here, and mostly what I've noticed in Mara, items that have nature resistance on them will get changed to stats. So first thing we noticed was the Noxious Shooter, which now will have, uh, instead of 5 nature resistance, will have... Uh, critical strike rating by 5, which is 0 0.5 crit. Uh, Pyto skin shoulders will have uh, 16 agility, 10 stamina, and 10 strength instead of 10 nature resistance. Vine root sandals will have 12 into 12 spirit, and 14 damage and healing done by spells instead of nature resistance. Uh, Chloromesh girdle instead of 20 nature resistance will have 26 spell power, making Mara useful again, you know what I mean? And uh, Brussel Hide Leggings will have instead of, uh, well, their stats a bit boosted, like Intellect, Stamina, and Nature Resistance, and from a green quality to a blue quality belt. Satyr Main Sash from um, um, Lord Villain Dog, or what's the name, will get 12 spell power boost. The Infernal Tricksters, Trickster Leggings will get um, hit rating instead of bow skills which uh, is 9 hit rating, at that level it's pretty good. Uh, Bloom Sprout Headpiece, which is from, I think this one is from a rare in uh, Mara. Used to have uh, 18 stamina, 10 nature resistance and 36 attack power. Now it has 18 stamina, 10 agility and 36, making it way better and desirable by hunters. Uh, might be even best in slot for the level 49 twin bracket, so if you play a hunter in the 49 twin bracket, or even shaman, you might want to uh, hunt for this. Should say our headdress um, gets uh, its stats significantly removed from 25 intellect 8 spirit, but it gets a whopping healing done by spells up to 55. This is like a really good helm in this level at 46, 55 healing power. <laughs> you can even heal to it until Burning Crusade. 
And if you do damage and healing, it's 19 spell power as well, so pretty good. The the cape uh, gets uh, its nature resistance, uh, Groovekeeper's Rape, uh, changed to agility. The cloud stone will now be uh, unusable offhand with intellect, spirit, and damage done up to 12. Mega Shot Rifle, this is one that gets changed for uh, hunters. A bit of damage boost, like high end and high end and low end, uh, about seven damage per second boost. Also, five heat rating attached. Unfortunately, that uh, attack power is still ranged on it, so it's probably a, a viable weapon for hunters and for a rogue if you really need the heat rating as you level. Albino Crocus Croc Scale boots will now have a heat rating as well instead of the five nature resistance. Elemental Rock Hide Leggings will have uh, Critical Strike Rating 10 instead of uh, Nature Resistance. As you see, this is like the trend in Mara. And uh, moving on, we move to the next dungeon for today, the Sunken Temple. Lots of items get changed here. And first and foremost, the mini bosses now uh, will only drop blue items. You know they used to drop blue and uh, green. Now they will only drop blue. And the ones that used to be green get extra stamina on them and also more stats from the random enchantment so you can get them off the monkey maybe even of spell power now in tbc as they uh, change them a lot the mini bosses have a lot of um, of them uh, dark water bracers the same thing instead of seven shadow resistance we'll have seven agility plus random enchantment on them uh, slitter scale boots will now have a mp5 wing whale cloak will now have an extra 12 damage in healing this is a bop and embrace embrace of the wind uh, wind serpent this uh, it's uh, obtainable from the avatar of akar you need to summon it with the egg i actually recently done this and the drop chance of those items got increased it's no longer like um, a zero point something percent to obtain it it's like two percent but this one really gets a nice boost and um, it does require level 50 but it gets 35 damage and healing done by spells modified from having none basically pretty nice pretty rare i actually got the dragon skull from the last boss when i went to sunken devil rest last time with my rogue it's in my bank um the feather skin uh, cape gets uh, modified as well pretty nice for intellect force stamina and 18 spell power now if you know 18 spell power like the cloak from Onyxia, I think, has 14 spell power. The, I don't know the name of it. And some other cloaks from other dungeons don't have that much spell power. So this is at level 49. Probably going to be Biss for Twinks as well. So keep that in mind. A Warrior's Embrace, which is uh, for tanks. 11 stamina for agility. Used to have 2% dodge, but now that dodge gets converted into 24 defense rating. Now at level 49, 24 defense rating, it's about 20 defense. That's huge. So this is a really strong warrior uh, slash paladin tanking chest. Uh, pretty nice to have. Wind scale uh, Sarong, sorry, I cannot pronounce that, gets an extra boost, just like the helmet from Mar Maraudon. 44 healing uh, done by magical spell and effects, and uh, as well 15 spell power for uh, the major change. Uh, the bloodshot greaves uh, get... Um, the strength change into 10 attack power, making them more viable. Investments of the Alive Prophet will have a 18 critical strike rating, which is 1.59%. It's huge uh, at that level. The Gloves of a Thai Prophet will get uh, 23 spell power. The Kilt of the At Atal Prophet will get uh, 21 spell power. Great. Uh, now the boss for Clot users will be great uh, again. Those items, no one used them before, so... Some items get uh, changed from green to blue, like Blade of the Wretched, which uh, receives some damage boost, 3%, uh, 3 damage per second, and some 16 extra attack power. The Eater of the Dead will now uh, no longer be a main hand, but a one hand, a lot of damage per second boost, like 4, uh, extra stamina, but still attack power when fighting undead. And this is an interesting item, the Fist of Damned, uh, 190 speed, uh, one hand mace, gets some damage boost, and chance on hit still 30 life from the target enemy. I don't know how often it procs, but it also gets 6 strength, maybe it's uh, usable as you level. 
Uh, Nightfall Drape gets uh, dodge rating by 8. Uh, Dawn Spine Cord, I think those drop from uh, the Drakes in uh, Sunken Temple. Uh, Dawn Spine Cord uh, gets um, Spell Hit by 12, which is 2% at level 48. Pretty nice. Bloodfire Talons um, gets the Fire Resistance uh, changed to Stamina. Um, Horn of Ecranius, uh, instead of Spirit, gets to mana per second and i've noticed a lot of items that used to have a lot of spirit get changed into mp5 i don't know the reasoning behind it but uh, i think they had a bigger plan for it dragon's eye as well uh, six stamina 15 spirit now we'll have six stamina and spirit and 12 spell power uh it makes so far it makes me want to do more dungeons it makes me want to level the normal way as you've seen from the first time from dead mines Whenever you go into a dungeon and there's so many options of possible upgrades, because normally if you do now a dungeon, you probably get zero upgrades, right? But now there's more, because you come out of that dead mines and you have more power and you're ready to go questing, you know? <laughs> like, Rod of Corrosion, uh, a wand, uh, gets uh, nature resistance converted into and spell critical strike rating, which is nice. Crest of Supremacy, which uh, is the, the shield from the last boss there. I had a lot of stats, intellect, agility, stamina, and I will have 10 stamina, 10 intellect, and uh, 4 MP5, which probably is going to be a nice shield for a paladin leveling there. Pretty good. The soul catcher, halo, 25 intellect, 10 spirit, will have 16 intellect, 10 stamina, and 20 spell power. Ooh, this might be the level 49 twink. This is a BOE. Might even be valuable. Unless there is a better option. Uh, Slam scale bracers. Um, MP5 as well. Uh, Merc water gauntlets. Will get changed to. Instead of having 13 strength. We'll now have a 26 attack power. Mm, an interesting change. Uh, silver shell leggings. We'll get 10 agility instead of 10 spirits. So. 20 strength, 10 agility, 12 stamina at level 46. Pretty good. Uh, Mistwalker boots, those are BOE as well. I'm talking about the BOEs from Sunken Temple. We'll now have 8 intellect, 12 spirit, and 14 damage and healing. Another BOE, Mind's Eye Circle. We'll have uh, 5 intellect, 8 intellect, 5 stamina, and 9 damage and healing. And this is one of the bow that I was a bit crazy about because this is a BOE for level 42. And it used to have 24.5 damage per second. And now it has 31.3 damage per second. But the, the, the low end and the top end damage changed from 36 to 67 to 61 to 114. Also, the speed changed from 220 to 280. And I got some extra agility. 14 attack power. It looks like a really great bow. However, it's BOE. I think it drops quite uh, rare. It's just like the items from Uldaman, I would assume. Rage Hammer, another mace, so with 370 speed, an interesting proc. Um, chance on heat increases damage done by 20 and haste rating by 50, which is about 7% at level uh, 45 for 15 seconds. If that haste rating was like the previous one from Uldaman by 300, this would have been a banger of a mace. Rage Hammer. And uh, I think this is it, guys, for today. Um, Please just leave a like on the video if you want to see a part 3 with the items from Black Rock Depths from level 58 dungeons. I'm assuming in pre-patch you're going to level a lot of characters. Um, make sure to leave a comment and a like. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, stay frosty.